a string of C9 the Christmas lights. These are the, the lights I use on the living room tree. And we're going to see if we can tone these down a bit to reduce the power consumption. I'm going to plug this into Viriac and we'll take a reading of the power consumption at full power. It's not going to be what it normally would be because the string is missing a bunch of bulbs. Wow, there's a lot of bulbs burnt out on that. Yep, so this is only taking, uh, oh, see how some of these bulbs are um, kind of hazy? Yeah. This is from the smoking. <laughs> this is one of the many reasons why we don't condone the smoking on this, the channel. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter how many bulbs are out. So this is taking 101, oh perfect, it's a nice easy number to remember. 101 the watts. And the current is uh, 0.87 the current. So if we tone this down to... 50 at night times how many hundred of bulbs are on that tree <laughs> that might be acceptable and that takes the power consumption down to only 35 the watts so that's a that's almost a third of the power that's that's pretty good well it's v squared over r so that doesn't surprise me the resistance basically stays the same anyways um in regular person terms, it consumes less electricity. Math works. It does, but only if you understand it. So we're going to connect. We're going to connect this. Um, what is this? Diode. A diode. It is the diode. The diode three zero D four zero B. B as in ba. And we're going to put this in series with the lights. Um, if you're running more than one string, that diode's going to get really hot and you're going to have to put it on a heat sink, probably with a fan over the heat sink so the diode doesn't overheat. It's not a big deal if it does because what the worst that can happen is it just sends full power to the string again because the diode shorts out. Um, which is obviously exactly what you're trying to prevent, so. Well, we're only testing one string with half the bulbs in it right now. So no, I, for be, this uh, it's not going to matter. I'm just saying for in this. any other use case it's important to, uh, to make sure that you have proper thermal management. How many would we need if we were to connect the entire... Christmas tree. To tell you the truth, probably only those four, but that's that's pushing them kind of hard. So, because I think those are thirty or forty amp diodes. Oh wow! Yeah, don't let their size fool you. <laughs> their size fooled me. Just gonna get this plugged in here. As safe as possible. As dangerously as possible. <laughs> As slowly as possible. As quickly as possible. <laughs> this is how we used to plug in that uh, Hampton Bay air conditioner before we replaced the plug. I love that unit. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, was that a project. <laughs> it was, but it was well worth it. That thing should provide decades of quiet, reliable service. That it will. And that is yet another example of why we do not condone the smoking on the, this channel. Yeah, that's a serious example. That is gross. How could you live like that? Just think of what the rest of the house must look like. Well, like I said, forget about the house. Think about what that person's inside of their lungs look like. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's pretty bad too. But that's personal. You know, the house didn't choose to be like that. <laughs> is that plugged in right now? Oh, the switch is off. Okay. Am 
My friend's grandmother passed away earlier this year. She was 99 and a half. That's pretty good. And we, by our estimation, she had smoked for 85 years. And she still made it to 99. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. Isn't that shocking? <laughs> Imagine how much longer she would have lived if she didn't yeah. smoke. <laughs> how many of the cigarettes was that? Two million? <laughs> she probably spent like at least 100 grand on cigarettes over 85 years. Now that's a pretty good brightness. Now we just have to see how the power consumption has changed. <laughs> Not one video goes by without that. I just hope you have to sneeze soon. No, air is pretty clean in here because there's no the smoking. <laughs> So it's down from the 100 watts to 50 the watts. That's exactly what so I would expect. literally cut the power consumption in half, and it's still plenty bright. It's too bad, and I know we went through quite a hassle to set this up, it's too bad you don't have another string to put next to it to see if the brightness is really half, because I don't think it is half the brightness. I think it's probably like three quarters the brightness. Well, I could just plug in the other one that's here. Are there two strings over here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'd say it's probably three quarters as bright. Yeah, that's not half the brightness. Light um, isn't really linear. I think this is um, this one is on the other set. You're getting very close to the touching the connection. The so, okay. Well, I think that's great. Oh, okay, so there was a yellow on there. Yeah, it's barely noticeable on the yellow. Hmm. Like I said, I'd say three quarters, maybe two thirds. Yeah, I think that that... And as I've mentioned in other videos, I kind of wanted to tone down that tree anyways because it, det it detracts some other stuff in the room because there's just so many lights and they're so bright. All right. Don't try this at home. The diode's not even getting hot. Now, admittedly, it's only one string and it's less than an amp, so... And it's only been a few minutes. Hmm. Well, that offers a lot of promise. Now we just have to scale it up. We have a string of... That's easier than you might think. Well, it's tested with a string of mini lights. Not that it really matters because the power consumption of these is very low anyways. Look at the spacing on that. Because you know what's interesting about this now is I could use twice as many lights outside <laughs> if they use half the power. That's true, it doesn't necessarily just have to be, well, where this will be a problem is LEDs. Because um, I know you have a couple of LED strings. and they'll I'd have to separate the outside. Yeah, those yeah. would look really crap, and, and for good reason. You know, they would look really crappy with uh, with this, um, you know, diode in series with it. Um, what would be, the flickering would just be twice as bad? Pretty much. Um, it, it would either be no difference or it would be twice as bad, but they, they use so little energy, who cares, right? Yeah. But I can easily enough divide up the connection between the the DELs. You just literally just cut the cost of this in half. It's like almost too good to be true. <laughs> And those lights will last probably five times longer before they burn out, too, because the, the lifespan isn't double. It's, it, I don't know exactly how it works out. But... Hello? Hello? The following message is from the police department. Well, that was a weird phone call. 
We get a lot of calls like that, it's just for you know public awareness because it's going to create a traffic issue down there. No, it's good that they let you know. <laughs> okay, so this is mini lights, same uh, electrical situation. This string is cut in half, and this string is full brightness. And that's not even in the frame. Come on, not being in frame is my job. Well, you are here. <laughs> There's literally like no difference with these. <laughs> that's almost not detectable. The blue I can see a difference in, but that's about it. Hardly enough to be a problem. Yeah. I actually think that this looks a little better. I was going to say the colors are a little more vibrant this way. <laughs> I like the it. Let's see if this is also, uh, I assume it would also be half the power. That's only, f only 10 the watts. So then it should be 30. Oh. And this one is 19. Hmm. Wow. It's almost too good to be true. It, it is. <laughs> Okay, well that's that's our solution for this year. We cut the cost in half. We're going to uh, run everything through these diodes. Is A APT the brand? Yes. I think they've been acquired by another company. Um, those were really old. I had them in a pile of junk at home. Mm. Well, now the junk can go to good use. Good thing you didn't throw them out. We don't condone the throwing things out. <laughs> Excuse me. We don't condone the canceling out. Mm.